Ah, what's good, YouTube? Y'all ought to know it's your boys. Them boys crazy. Y'all ought to know it's your boy Royce Rob up in his mouth. Man. I already know what's going on, man. Know it's your boy Camel Fish. Anytime you see our face, you know it's time for another reaction, man. Man, this right here is Can We Chop the World's Strongest Cube in Half? I'm not going to lie. These type of videos I always used to watch them like... When they drop the big old like ball all the way down from a certain height and all that and see how it smashed. Big eggs, you know or they saying. might drop like a uh uh something that's super super big on top of like they might drop a, a, car, a, a so. car or something on top of a boat or a boat on top of a car or something. So I wanna read this see what this young gonna be like and yeah, they be getting a view. What's up? Yeah. Man, see, how ridiculous. <laughs> you understand me? At least you know. periodic table, Derek. Give me an example. AL for aluminium. SI for silicon. Amazing. Uh, what? Set on the periodic table. Now, axe is not on the periodic table, but it is two-tone, and it does have a hardened steel edge. The big question today is, what can this big fella do to the periodic table? We're going to start with the weakest? Not necessarily the weakest, but the less densest. Ah, yes. Uh, so this density. is one gram per cubic centimetre. I don't know what sort of plastic it is, but it's the most blessed. thickest bit of plastic I've ever seen. I think it's in trouble. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Man, it's got a knife. That little more got a knife. That is a clean cut. Yeah, it's about half a Is there steady. a little bit of resistance? Let's roll that slowly and then go to the next one. That's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure. Don't tell me about it. What the fuck take it up on the leg like this? Yeah, I mean, that's it. You in the middle of that, man. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Oh, it is a lot of pressure. Not to be mistaken with silicon with an E. You think about that. Just let some oxygen go into your nostrils. You've just found the most common element in the world. This is number two, boys. 2.3 grams per cubic meter. Centimeter. Centimeter. Oh. So, 230% increase in density to the plastic. Alright, oh, nice. Big. Is it meant to be strong? Silicon? Yeah. Heck no. It's very good at insulating electricity. I'll tell you what I like about silicon, yeah. honestly. Yeah. It knows who it is, and it knows who it isn't. <laughs> So your prediction in this case would be it's going to chop it off. Too hard. Nice. That's freaking learn something, boys. What do you reckon? Yeah. Here's one for education, eh? To the bow bow. Bye bye. Oh god. Yeah. Bounce. Oh, I mean it's going oh. right through it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's that BBL. Do I have to? I, I don't know if you're really in the It's It's worth it. You were like a uh, bow or egg, right? Bounce. Oh, okay. BBA again. Oh, <laughs> it's a BBA right there. <laughs> it's a little bit bigger than the level. You good. You hear me? That's great though. I can work with that. I can work with that. I can't wait for who's up next. I think it's this man. Derek! Oh, he's, he's researching. Silicon was 2.3 grams. This is 2.4 grams per cubic centimeter. So just a slight upgrade. Oh, obsidian! Why did Michael write it like that? I don't know. He definitely deliberately misspelt it. Tell me about Educate obsidian. Educate me, Derek. It's an igneous rock. Oh, oh. from the molten lava. Oh, God, Generally, it is found it's in black, man. but in rare forms. You can find it in mahogany or gold. Oh, I've been in that one going, boys. Back in the old <laughs> days, they used to use it for tools like spear tips, arrowheads, and stuff like that. We smashed a cube of this stuff with our giant hammer a while back. Do you want to tell me, is it strong? Is it going to survive? No, I think it's going to shatter. Oh, nice reflection here, and I can see you do a dance. <laughs> yeah, he did say it was going to shatter. Cargo balls. Yeah, there's bits everywhere. Mahogany. Can be sharp. And can be rainbow. Can you see that? It's very glassy, isn't it? It's like a shell on the seat. Perfect. Perfect. Next up we have a surprise inclusion. Pie Creek! Welcome to the channel Pie Creek. You've been asking for it for a long time. It's basically water mixed with either sawdust or paper to make a really strong ice block. Dreamed up by Jeffrey Pike. Heads Pukrete to maybe replace concrete, but it didn't really work. In World War II, he proposed to build a ship, and that didn't wasn't so good. Hey Jeff, well done, mate. You had a go. Hey, you had a go. Right? Let her rip, mate. Take out the Pukrete. 
You know what? It probably did hold on better than ice. I'm genuinely impressed with the product. It's not bad. What's next, Stanford? 10 kilogram glass sphere. Density 2.4 grams per cubic oh, centimeter. Same as obsidian. Actually, I've got a good one for you. It's a perfectly elastic material. You cannot permanently bend it. What about when you heat it up? When you heat it up, yeah, can you bend it when it's hot? I guess you could. Good follow-up question, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah I thought it was actually key. <laughs> what else can I tell you about? Oh, it's a. Oh, if I get this word right, amorphous material. When you hit it, there's no discernible weak point for it to crack down. That's why you get the conical fracturing. It's the Coney oh, Joni okay. Wony effect it's again. The same thing. Or the Coney Joni, or the Hertzian crack. Hertzian. Hertzian. Yeah. Named after German physicist Heinrich Rudolf Hertz, which is Coney. one of the great names. So the real question is, will it Coney Joni? How would you review Brett's facts there? I'd give him an 8.5. It was very good. Oh, very you really bought into that, yeah. I'm up next with quartz. I'm going to absolutely win my way through it. Couldn't tell you a thing about it. Just going to see what comes. <laughs> Ew! No Coney Joni, just pure and utter destruction. It's heavy. One or ten and a half. Of course. What can you tell us? You ready to learn? So ready. Couldn't tell you a thing about it. So quartz, not to be confused with the food court. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> no, 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 we're off to a shaggy start. <laughs> two, two, <laughs> two point <laughs> six <laughs> two, two, two. grams per cubic centimetre. Boys, when you think of quartz, I want you to throw your mind back to ancient Egypt. Oh. Okay, that's where we're starting from. Well, that's the first man, but I think Horace, but... You know what it did remind me of? I mean, you got presented in front of Claire. Oh, and what? Are you to get up there? Oh, Gee, I remember. I, like, I was studying for some stuff like, for, like two, three days straight. When I got up there, I was like, um, um, and I don't know how you just lose it, bro. It's like you be trying to. You know, like sometimes when you win, get it. Yeah, it went. Yeah, for sure. Sometime. For sure. On me. All you gotta do is just. Remember one topic, but you know what? And beat around that topic. But you know what? I always mess mess you up. You'll be out to a good start. You you, you flowing with it. Then they be the one. So hold on. So what, what what did you mean about the course though? Like I'm something like. Ooh. Okay, how many how many? Uh, uh, what are you asking? Man, about how many Mexican pickles is in the court if you break it down to a, a, a can you, science? Can you, can you go back to it and explain it for me? No, no. no. I, this is all I got. This is all I learned. Newtus. Sorry, but Newtus. Pulled it out of the um, subcontinental sort of crust, if you wish. <laughs> <laughs> and notice how it's quite pretty. Oh, very. very. Even yeah, prettier so than you. We know. Damn. We know. We, right? we found it as jewellery in ancient Egypt. Ooh, and also, know. we know that they what used it for their shovels. What? They actually carved this stuff into shovels. That's actually part of the way they widened the Nile River. Can you believe it? I'm trying to. Like just the head or it the head. whole shovel? No, just the head of the shovel. I've seen it. Anyway. And <laughs> it's about what saying. else do you want to know, boys? I mean, it's very brittle. Highly brittle. It's in the top ten brittle substances, I think, in the earth, I read on oh. one source. People have commented that they want us to do quartz smashing for a reason. That's why I bought it. Do you know what that reason is? Quartz smashing. Yeah. And not the food court smashing. <laughs> Sparks. Oh, oh, yes. Is that a fact? Oh, it absolutely is. And we see that also in ancient Egypt, actually. <laughs> I'd give him a 9 out of 10 for that. Yeah, I enjoyed no, yours more. I'd give him a 7. <laughs> <laughs> That's a horoscope. Yeah. Very glassy yeah. as well, isn't it? Cool. Letter unit. Oops, I felt like you though. Folks, is the most abundant metal on earth. Do you know that? Most abundant? Yep, good start. Most yeah. abundant metal on earth. That's not true, is it? <laughs> Are you going to refute my sources? Yeah, what else? Teach me, dear. Aluminium, do you think it can rust? No. Correct, it cannot rust. <laughs> How good's that? Good. It's recyclable. Yeah, it's also tensile. Did I get that right? Oh, he's checking. <laughs> 
<laughs> I might have said the wrong word then. <laughs> Ductile! Ductile. Ductile, completely different. Yeah, it okay. means you can make it into a wire. Is it going to hold up to the axe? Nah. Really? I think it's going to split it. Here we go, for science. Oh wow, it really stopped it. Aluminium strong! <laughs> Hey! What? No, there's some crackage on this side. What the? Song? I want to see the damage. Cut. Some crackage? Where? Oh, that's barely crackage. That's like crack. Left the mark, but no real damage. Well done, aluminium. I'm gonna do the random item next. I'm building a fire. It's tough. I'm gonna chop it. That's some strong stuff. They didn't need to be. They didn't need to be bulletproof then. They didn't make that some bulletproof stuff. Oh me, cause what? I'm talking about ain't do no damage. I bulletproof the crib with that in the car. My house. Oh, aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. All around. All around the crib. You get a little hot in there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. She's boring too. I'm gonna cook up something as well, guys. <laughs> 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 Good. Okay. 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 kilograms of titanium, four and a half grams per oh, cubic centimeter, maybe right 4.7. Right the best ratio of strength to weight. Very good for airplane parts. I think it'll deal with this mm. quite well. <laughs> Get out of my hood. Oh, I need my hood. I, I, had a hood. <laughs> I need my hood. <laughs> Where did you just find an arrowhead? You've got to be looking always on the ground. <laughs> That's from Is that from 3000 BC? Titanium's in place and we've sort of left the fire going. On the theme of fire and sparks, disappointed no sparks from the courts. Like, to viewers, can you explain that? Or do you think we got sold a dud? I am titanium. <whistles> Charge! Oh, oh, yeah, it's spark. Whoa! Whoa. There's your spark. You got your spark. Oh, look at that. You bounced it. Shut That was a lot of spark, too. Yeah, that that, 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 that thing coming small come packages, though. Oh. That thing ain't even that knee bud. It is off the queue. It, it was only on the side, though. Because it went. That was freaking sick. Oh. Whoa. So yeah, many. baby, are you sure you didn't get caught in that stuff? That's not caught. No, 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 no. But why only one side? No, 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 no. Get into you. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. If we put it like a diamond, so that like the the blade hits it and like slides down, potentially just get like even. Bend me, shake me any way you want. As long as you eat me, cause I'm all natural. Cast iron, boys and girls. Oh, which is disguising itself as an anvil. Oh, oh. so cast iron is an absolute mm. dominant thing to weld. Well, People find that's it so much like to break down. That's what a website says. Because, yeah, boys, oh, it's very hard. Skillet. There's yeah. like a truckload of carbons in it or something. So what happens is when they heat it up to weld, it cracks. So what I'm thinking, if I may digress here, by the way, uh, what was it? 6.8 or 9.8 grams per cubic centimeter. Oh. Stand by. I'm just thinking, I actually think we might crack this thing. 7.9. 7.9, yeah, well, wow. nailed it. Um, you see what I'm saying? Because it's quite brittle and they can't weld to it. See, what I'm saying is we're trying to weld it. Quickly. In, in a sense. Big weld up. Can down, we do it? Can we do it? Chopped it up! That's my Next up, nose off this Sphere and Heron's gonna drop some funsies. 8.96 grams per oh. cubic centimeter. Oh, Part of the, the Statue of Liberty's got some oh, copper in it. Yeah. And it actually oxidized. That's why it turned green and it's the color it is. Oh. Especially you didn't see that fact coming. Um, I can't remember any of the ones because my late session cramming is it soft? didn't retain much. <laughs> it's softer than most, yeah. Where was it founded? In what year BC did the Egyptians first use it? Oh, 4,000. 322 BC. What's with these knobbly bits? <laughs> the knobbly bits are made by a hammer and the. We got a different plate. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Go through it like pancake mix. <laughs> That's not even close to halfway. Big finale is here. The big dog that's actually a small <laughs> dog, but he's real, real heavy. Tungsten is here. It's Tungsten. a really, really, really dense item, like real dense. <laughs> I, I can't remember, that was like 18 point something. Grams. Maybe 90. Oh, maybe between 18 and 90. <laughs> it's an incredibly rare yeah. substance. 80% of it's found in China. It has a really, really, really high melting point. Is it strong? Highest tensile strength. Anytime you say that, bro, then that's how you know something. If something 
don't got a super duper high melting point, then you know that junk strong, bro. I'm just if it takes so much heat just for that junk to even count a little drop, a little drip of milk, then you know that junk. What? Jesus is a substitute for gold. They used to cheapen the gold by putting tungsten in it, just in the middle of the bar. Tungsten. Do we? Anyone this else in the chat? In fact, <laughs> we have a mine in Queensland that pulls this stuff out of the dirt, oh, yeah? and then they shut it down. They said, "Boys, we're not doing tungy anymore." You don't get enough money for it, you know? Oh. This is donkeys. <laughs> and then just recently, we've reopened the same mine We're because back. the price of it's gone back in the tungsten game. Because of all the machinery and stuff that's now being used in, and then now we've now we're born out of the earth again. Our axe is in pretty good shape, actually. This could be the last hit we ever do with the big fella. Are we going to do it? Yes. Yes, we are going to do it. Genuinely? Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's about my work. I know, you're it's good delivery from <laughs> It's great delivery. I think we'll get some good chips, but I don't think we're going to shatter it. What happened? What happened? Oh, it stopped it. Oh, it's holding it up. I think the axe might have finally managed that. Look at that. Give it. Oh, it's look at that. That's a good chunk. Oh! Oh, sparky galore. You... That's almost the best shot of the day. That's impressive. What is that? 44 Club, love you. Great vid. How good. See you next time. Ah, oh, it is tough. Hello, mum. Scrum. You learn all of this. It's hard, it's hard. Let me, let me get a little bit of that tungsten. Let me how much that is. Mm, that's some strong stuff, boy. What? 200 a pound. You can keep that. Mm. Boy, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I be wanting to do stuff like this so bad, bro. Like, I be wanting to get like cars and then tear it up. I ain't gonna see what, this, see what this will do. See what that'll do. Like. Oh, we, but hey, if y'all like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the rest, don't forget to subscribe. Y'all, I know it's your boy, the boy crazy. We out. Some that tongue. <laughs>